As a result of the recent ambush, Ukrainian forces decided to withdraw. It's day 501 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from Paddy Hatki. After failed counterattacks, in which Ukrainian forces walked into a trap at least five times, while suffering serious losses, did not launch any attacks further. They were only using artillery to hit Russian positions. Recently many Russian sources have started reporting that Ukrainian forces have decided to retreat from the village. It is said they have in fact withdrawn most of their forces from the village. Only a small portion of the forces remain. While others are saying that they are just rotating their forces, but so far no new units have been seen near the village. Apparently Russian forces are not counter-attacking the village, maybe they see it as a trap. Currently Russians are hitting retreating Ukrainian armor with artillery and drones. While the village is considered under full Ukrainian control. Now moving to Orykhiv sector, I did not cover this sector for many days, as there was nothing new happening. But today a report came, yesterday evening Ukrainian forces started attacking Russian positions, they carried out offensive operations all throughout the night. As a result they were able to advance north of the village. Russian sources say they were planning to advance further, but because of rain, their reinforcements were not able to come. Currently it is said they are stuck in newly taken positions, while Russian forces are striking them. Sources say they were able to destroy multiple Western equipment, including Bradley's. Now moving to Vermibsky sector, as I reported in my previous reports, how Ukrainian forces were launching attacks on Priyedny, from Novodorivka and Rivnipil. As per latest report Ukrainian forces after recent push, were able to take this huge area under their control. Both sides have acknowledged the advance. Russian sources reported that Ukraine has changed their tactics. They are attacking with strength of 10 to 15 soldiers, but on a broader front. They are attacking under heavy artillery fire. As a result, it has become very difficult to defend. Many people are saying Ukraine is experiencing shell hunger, but that has not been the case. Russian sources report that Ukraine has enough shells to perform offensive operations. Recently, they have also started using aviation to support their attacks. Russian forces have not conducted any significant counterattacks in a very long time. They are mostly on defense and are retreating. So it is possible that Russia is simply depleting Ukrainian forces' capacity in this area. Now moving to Bakhmut sector. After my last report, Ukrainian forces did not make any new advances near Klishivka. They however recaptured some of the recently lost trenches in this open field. Many Russian sources noticed that intensity has decreased a little bit, but not by a big margin. It is because Russian aviation was hitting their strongholds of manpower and equipment with guided ammunition. In fact, they are destroying multiple ammunition depots around Bakhmut on a daily basis, which may have caused problems for Ukrainians in the short term. Many sources have reported that Russian forces have also transferred new units in the village, as they are also suffering some losses. Both sides have been very good at striking incoming armor with accurate artillery. It should be noted that the concentration of Ukrainian manpower is enormous around Chesivyar. Russian sources expect Ukraine to launch a large-scale offensive after their forces capture strategically important heights around Bakhmut. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.